been searching in an EBSCO database and have built up a search history, then you may want to save it to return to at a later date. Click on the Save Searches Alerts link above the Search History table. In order to use this facility, you need an account with EBSCO. If you already have an account set up, you can log in here. Otherwise, click the Create a New Account link and enter the information required to create your own account. You will be taken to the Save Search screen. Give your search a name. You can then choose to save it permanently, temporarily, or set it up as a regular alert so you can be kept up to date with every time a new article on your topic is added to the database. When you're ready, click the Save button. When you next open up EBSCO, you can log into your account using the Sign In button. Then, using the folder icon, retrieve your search. From the list of items in your folder, go to the Saved Searches link. Find your search and click the Retrieve Save Search link. Your saved search history will reappear on the screen. However, at this stage, the numbers in the results column are missing. Click the tick box next to Select, Deselect All at the top of your search history box and then the Refresh Search Results button. Your results will now be updated and you can continue working on your search history. You can also use the folder to save individual articles. Use the Folder Plus icon next to the article to add it into your folder. To view items you've collected, click on the folder link and go to the Articles section.